I'm not sure if they've started the work on the crane and started closing lanes for that um, crane dismantling, but I'm on Madison here at 6, and it's very, very congested. It's backed up. Well, the Broadway and beyond, you can see I see one, two, three, four buses here waiting at 6 or to get on the Broadway, and another one, two, let's see, three, four, five, I believe six, seven, eight, yeah, eight, eight buses here. I don't know if you can see them all. There's eight buses here between well, Broadway or just trying to get on from, off from Broadway all the way down to uh, uh, First Avenue. And I should know we have one, two, that second one back there, not sure about the third one, and three uh, uh, Hawthorne buses within, let's see, two blocks. Within a range of two blocks here. And I'm guessing that some of those up there might also be a Hawthorne bus. So we have basically at least two or three buses wasted here to play with thing in congestion. And if they had, say, a bus only lane that was planned, they would be able to go right through. The third bus will be able to get to the place of the third first bus. I'm now on fifth and I see one, two, three, at least four buses. At least four buses um, waiting to, to turn right, or excuse me, left on the main. And of course there is a boatload of traffic too. There is actually still a 14E, a 14 Express. Though it's not really Express now, and that may, I'd say at least five, if not more, 14 buses here. At least three or four that really don't wouldn't be needed if that third, that last one could go through and make it to that first bus. You see we have an actual supervisor here out directing traffic. Um, I'm now at third, and you can see it's down to one lane. I can't totally tell why if that's because of the crane, but it's creating a huge, huge backup, a lot farther than I, 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 I can see. Is this for the crane? Huh? Is this because of the crane that they're going to take down or what, you know? Hey, good luck! See an actual supervisor of his sport ute and directing traffic. Again, there's that Hawthorne Express. So what's really interesting here is that 3rd Avenue is almost crystal clear. So really, if they wanted to, they could just simply get a peace officer and have him direct traffic by giving a lot more time to the uh, Madison Street here, Madison Street traffic, since they really don't need that much. There is our problem here. They have get ready to dismantle the crane. I was told by the webmaster if I'm at that, it's supposed to be started at 7 because I saw that, that the uh, um, stop closure over on the other block is not in effect yet, but I see that. And I think the operator, yep, the operator just got out and moved that cone. That's got to be a 6. No, that's a 33. So it should theoretically be going straight there. So I guess the problem here is that they can't go straight because that's not a lane. They sh what they should have done is make this a lane so they could go down it and turn right on the second here, which you can do. See it says one way up there and be a simple detour. But now they're having to go way down, I guess, to Columbia or whatever and really make a mess. 
as I've been trying to say, they have this lane closed off here, but there's no really reason for it to be closed. I see flagger guy down there and maybe he's going to move the cones, but there really isn't a reason for this lane to be blocked off. They're not actually doing anything yet. You know, I'm assuming this is the part of the crane dismantling tonight. There are one of the flaggers, there's a the truck, one of the flaggers up there is talking to the police. Now he's moving the cones, I don't see really why. Isn't it a little early? Because I thought they were supposed to start at 7. Yeah, 7 o'clock, yeah. we got to set it up. You need an hour to set it up? Sit spot. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got an hour 15 minutes left yet. So, yeah, it is because of that crane, but... And this is going to be a problem because a problem because that um because that stop has got to be closed. I think. Well, maybe not. I saw a bus go over there, but I know when they actually get this train started dismantling that that stop on the block to the left is on the. Our side of the street will be closed. And that detour is not set till start till seven. And I just saw a bus up there turn left on the four. You know, making his own little detour. Interesting to see if well first of all if he does go back to the Hawthorne Bridge, but number two, if he makes any time. And all these wires here are being delayed because because they're staying up early to get the crane down to doing their traffic control early when they really don't need to start till. And this is the crane up there they want to dismantle. It's not the one main place project. I have to say that the one main place is looking pretty decent. And it's got that, that uh, um, corner thing here. It's reminiscent of that building right north of Safeway. I believe it's the Elliott and the Justice Center which is right uh, one block past here. I just saw that Line 6 bus over there used to be center lanes on the Hawthorne Bridge, the really, really right lane, I guess I should say. Even though the left lane going the other way is still open, which can um, cause the hazardous situation, so I know those lanes are pretty darn narrow. There is actually, actually right here, just like on the other side, there it says buses keep right well as well as trucks actually actually it's interesting here there's still a huge uh, good two three block probably maybe four to go around the corner there on the, the harbor drive line of traffic waiting to get onto the Hawthorne bridge you'd think it would wouldn't be as bad I mean it's Friday and that's a real problem with this stuff but you think it wouldn't be as bad because as you can see here, the Hawthorne Bridge is clear, well, except for bicyclists. Because the traffic is really being metered up there because of the construction. Normally there'd be two lanes coming here, but today there's only one. I don't know if you but a guy just put that cones back there that the operator of that Line 6 bus moved. Because they went down that lane, and I don't really know why they did since the other street was open. But that they might have a detour in place. I thought they had to do it. And you can see here on Main that they've actually moved the signal sideways and turned it off. So I guess what they're going to do, they're laying out uh, um, barricades here, but I guess what they're going to do is lay the crane right down here on First Avenue. And I believe they've done stuff that they've done before. Interesting here, they gave them from 10 a.m. today to 
that out. Even though they could have probably not started until about maybe four or five, which would have allowed parking here during the day. And they're getting from midnight till you know, a couple of days from now. It doesn't say that's midnight on the 28th that start or end of the 27th. And as far as I know, stop when you close for today. The bus stop.